okay, steady state approximation. Let's look at an example of how to do this kind of question. So in this case, you're supposed to derive the rate law for the decomposition of ozone in this reaction. Two ozone molecules gives you three oxygen molecules on the basis of this mechanism. So the first step, you need to find the intermediate. So over here, you can see that very clearly, the intermediate has to not be the reactants or the products. So over here, there's only one. It's the ozone atom here, here, and here. Right, so the first step will be to create the equation for your steady state. So the change in concentration of your intermediate, in this case is ozone, over time, will be equal to zero. So in forming ozone, you look at the first step. So the first step forms ozone. I mean, sorry, forms the oxygen atom. So take Ka times O3. Right, second step you lose oxygen atom, so minus Ka prime, O2, O. Okay, in the third step, you also lose oxygen atom, so minus Kb, O, O3. Okay, and the whole equation is equal to zero. Right, so the next part, you need to make your intermediate the subject of the equation. So oxygen atom will be equals to Ka times ozone over Ka prime oxygen plus Kb ozone. So you can slow down the video if it's too fast for you. Okay. So now that you have done the most important part of the question, you just need to solve the question. So derive the rate law for the decomposition of ozone. So you need to find the change in concentration of ozone. So marking out ozone, it's over here, here, and here. Okay? So let's generate the equation. Maybe I erase a little bit of things here. To give myself more space. Okay. Alright, so you need to find the rate in chain rate of change of concentration of ozone. So the rate will be equals to for the first part you lose ozone, so that's part of the rate. Ka times O3. Okay. Second part of the equation you form ozone, which is the reverse of decomposition of ozone. So it's a minus minus Ka prime ozone. Eh, not ozone, sorry, O2. So this is a reactants and oxygen atom. In the third part of the reaction, you are losing ozone, so that's part of the reaction again, plus Kb O O3. Yeah, okay. So because your rate equation should not have any intermediate because the intermediate is not part of the general overall equation so you need to substitute the oxygen into your rate equation okay so basically substitute all of these O's into the green one okay so let me just substitute it so O erase it off it will become Ka times Ka times O3 divided by Ka prime O2 plus Kb O3 the same thing for this one so this O also is substituted with the green equation so you remove it you add Ka O3 squared divided by Ka prime O2 plus Kb O3. Okay. Yeah, then to make everything nice, you try to make all the denominators the same. Right? And you can get a better looking equation. So let me just erase all this thing since you don't need it anymore. Okay, got. Okay, so to make everything the same, put the same denominator for this one. A A prime. O2 plus Kb O3 so it will be Ka times I change different color Ka O3 
times k prime a over 2 plus plus k a k b because you need to multiply this thing again this and this and this together so k a k b over 3 squared okay so now you need to simplify the equation Right, so in simplifying the equation, good news is you see there are some things that are the same. So you see this one, ka prime o2 ka o3, ka prime o2 ka o3. So this part here and this part here cancels out. Okay, just nice. And then you see these two parts. So this one and this one, they are the same thing. So it's two times of it. Okay, so to make things easy, you would just be two. Ka, Kb, O3 squared divided by K A prime O2 plus K B O3. Okay, and that's it. So that's how you solve the question for steady state assumption. Right? So all the best for your future endeavors.